Dating can be so exciting, but it can be so easy to look over some of the biggest signs, biggest red flags when it comes to lesbian dating. In this video, I'm gonna cover the biggest red flags that you need to be watching out for, so that way it doesn't cost you an immense heartache and stress down the line and you're gonna be kicking yourself in the face. How is it that I did not see this before? One of the first major red flags is emotional unavailability. Now, if a person you're dating is struggling to open up to you about emotions, keeping you at a distance, this will let you know that this person is just not ready for a serious relationship. And I get it, sometimes, you know, people aren't ready for a relationship and that's fine, but you guys need to be on the same page, especially if you're coming in to this expecting to be something long-term. Emotional unavailability can look like this. If you're trying to have a conversation, an emotional conversation, and they're avoiding it, or perhaps they're being incredibly vague about their feelings, they could also not be committed to future plans. Having behavior like this coming from a partner can make you feel super confused and make you not sure like, where you stand in this relationship with this person. Okay, let's take for an example. Every time that you try to have a conversation to ask her, hey, like, what are we? Like, where, where are your feelings at with this relationship? She shuts down, she changes the subject. She's trying in every way, in a way like a politician to avoid answering the question. This is a sign that she's not willing or ready to be engaged in, in a relationship emotionally. While it's natural to feel excited about a new relationship, moving too quickly into a relationship can be another red flag. If a partner is pushing you to be committed into a relationship too quickly, where it might feel like the other person is just insecure, this could be a sign that this person is not ready to truly be in a relationship. This could be because this person is insecure due to fear of being alone, and some other reasons. As much as lesbians love to rush into relationships, aka U-Haul lesbians, we need to keep in mind that real relationships take time to build. Healthy relationships need to grow and develop with time and bonding. So if things are moving too quickly, you need to pause and ask yourself, is the pace of the relationship making sense for us to be committed? Is the time that we've spent and the emotional energy between you and this other person making sense for us to commit? to a relationship. So check in with yourself and check in with your partner to make sure that you guys are both on the same page. But let's say for example, that you and this other girl have gone on one or two dates and she's already talking about moving in with you. That sounds incredible and super exciting. You can't wait for this person to move in, but hold up, is does this make sense? Once this person has moved in and starts incorporating their lifestyle into your own life, it can be hard to disentangle that once you realize that you and her are not a good fit. So take a pause and ask yourself, is this relationship moving too quickly? Because this can lead to issues later down the line. A history of cheating is a significant red flag, especially if this history of cheating has not been addressed and if they have not taken responsibility for the mistakes that they've made before. Well, we understand that people can change, which is great. We want people to change for the better. It is you, the person who is coming into the relationship with this person who has history of cheating, you need to ask yourself, will this happen again? Now, if you are approaching your partner and asking questions about their history and they brush it off or they refuse to take accountability or blame their ex for these sorts of issues for why they cheated, that is a red flag. Now, this is a sign that they may not be trustworthy. So she's casually mentioning that she has cheated in the past relationships but doesn't show any sort of remorse, guilt, that cheating was a bad thing. She doesn't show the understanding that how it negatively affects other people. This is an indicator that this behavior could continue. Respect for others' boundaries, whether that be for friends, families, this having boundaries is healthy and normal in any relationship, even when it comes to your significant other, your girlfriend. Now, if your partner is continuously disrespecting your request for boundaries or ignores them, whether that be physically, emotionally, your time and space, that is a red flag. A healthy relationship is built on respect. And when you have a partner that is continuously violating your boundaries, this can leave you feeling resentment for her and discomfort in this relationship. And you don't deserve that. So I recommend if you are dating a person to set a small boundary, say for example, you're on a date with her and she's on her phone majority of the time, set a boundary away from 
the phone so that way you have more time to bond with her on dates. This can be a litmus test and if she's going to reject that and not respect that request, that can be a red flag. If you have a partner who's just constantly negative, that can be super draining on your energy. You don't want to be coming home to that. Like, I get it. There's just, some days it's just a bad day. Something breaks in the house, you have a bad day at work, you have a boss at work who is had yelled at you and your partner is disgruntled about that. I get it, that's normal. But if you've noticed your partner just always critical about things, super judgmental about other people, judgmental about you, tearing you down, you feel so drained and you don't feel that positivity, that enjoyment of being in a relationship with somebody. That can make you start questioning, is this relationship for me? But having that negative attitude all that time can create a toxic environment for you. If you are in this house with this other person or if you're spending this time with this person who's supposed to bring you joy and happiness, but instead it's making you feel negative, that can drain your energy and make you not feel that happiness and joy that you deserve. A lack of accountability is a major red flag. We are all grown adults here. We need to learn to take accountability. Now, if you're noticing that your partner just refuses to take accountability, and I get it, we all make mistakes, we're human, but where we present ourselves to be more of an adult is to acknowledge that we've made mistakes and grow from that. But if she is always blaming other people and not saying that she played a part in the things that had happened, the consequences of whatever she's done, she doesn't acknowledge that, that's showing that she's not willing to grow. It also shows a level of immaturity with her character. In a healthy relationship, both partners should be able to acknowledge their mistakes and work together to resolve conflicts. Because believe me, relationships are never perfect and it's kind of healthy to have conflicts but where two people can grow is figuring out how they can grow together and fix the mistakes or issues that are happening. Now, if you find her always managing to twist the situation to make it seem like you are always at fault, even when it's clear that she's the one who is in the wrong, that's a sign that she lacks accountability. Seeing this sign can really indicate to you that this relationship can lead to a very toxic relationship. Now, another subset to this red flag of a lack of taking accountability is also the unwillingness to go to therapy. I know mental health can be very taboo and I know it's definitely gotten better over the years, but still, there's still people who think that they don't need it. It's woo woo stuff or you just gotta muscle through things, but it's more than that. Seeing a therapist can help heal inner trauma and inner issues, inner emotional things that can permeate through a relationship. And if a partner and you've noticed issues and you've mentioned to your partner that hey you know maybe seeing a therapist could be helpful since you are struggling with some of these issues that have been happening through childhood and etc and if they are just unwilling to better themselves in that way by helping their mental health which can in turn help your relationship with her and she's not willing to do that that is a red flag. That is showing somebody who is not willing to better themselves to improve the happiness in the relationship. These are some of the biggest red flags to watch out for when it comes to lesbian dating. Recognize these signs early on to avoid yourself headache and heartache that you do not deserve. Remember, a healthy relationship is built on trust, built on mutual support and mutual respect. Don't ignore these signs when you are on a date with a girl, even if she's so amazing that she sweeps you off your feet and she seems perfect. Do not ignore these red flags when they appear. Now that you're aware of the biggest red flags when it comes to lesbian dating, how can we make a lesbian relationship successful? You might want to check out this video over here where I talk about how to make sure that you and your girlfriend are in a long lasting, happy relationship. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.